with a name like Astro Backyard, it's pretty obvious where I do the majority of my astrophotography. But every once in a while, I'm blessed with the opportunity to travel to darker skies. Much darker skies. And over the past weekend, I was under some of the darkest skies I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I'd like to take you along with me. So let's go back to last Thursday. Driving down to the Cherry Springs Star Party in Pennsylvania. And uh, today being June 22nd, it's the first day of the Star Party. It starts at uh, noon. It's already started, it's about uh, three o'clock right now. One of the things I love about the States is the size of uh, their drinks. This is the biggest coffee I've ever seen in my life, so it's perfect for me. Two thumbs up. Well, yeah, the weather today could go either way. It looks like there's uh, forecasted thunder showers, but you never know how that's gonna go. Uh, so I'm hoping for that and I'm hoping to uh, see a few of you guys that I've talked to that mentioned you're going to be here at the, at the star party and uh, I'm hoping that uh, I get the camera running tonight and I actually get to do some astrophotography. Six minutes away from Cherry Springs State Park now in the Star Party and uh, driving through beautiful Pennsylvania here. Stopped in, in Coder Sport for dinner and uh, yeah, I'm hoping we find a good spot. The forecast changed from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy. So maybe we will actually see some stars tonight after all. got a sweet spot. It's a lot less busy here than the last time I was here in 2014. Obviously because of the weather. We got our tent set up. We got our official Cherry Springs Star Party t-shirts. And uh, I'm just deciding whether to set up the scope right now or not because I don't own a tarp. So if it is going to rain I can't set it up yet. The, the forecast says uh, risk of Serious thunderstorms, 40% chance until about 10 o'clock, and then partly cloudy after that. So if it clears up just in time for 11 o'clock tonight, we're in for quite a show. What do you think of the shirt? Very yellow. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it's dusk now, all set up. Got the tent set up, the scope's out, but uh, it's not looking too promising for any uh, astrophotography for sure. And uh, maybe some visual if we're lucky, but uh, the clouds don't seem to be going anywhere. So um, yeah, it might be an early night. So night one here at Cherry Springs. Cloudy. What happened? Holes in my air mattress.
all set up here for the for the night and uh, tonight's supposed to be the one and only clear night here at the star parties brought the rig out with me of course rusty counterweight and all ed 102 i've got it all pre-balanced here i put the dslr on the back so that's for my star alignment it's all set up for that i'll do the two star alignment guide scope um, the dew heater straps are all set up got the laptop all the cords connected so i'll be good to go as far as uh, alignment polar alignment and then i'll be swapping out for that dslr and running it through the laptop about star parties is they happen at night and at this time of year a couple of days past uh, summer solstice late at night which means you're gonna have to sleep during the day so it's best to have a nap and judging by all the covers I see in the scopes right now that's what all the serious imagers are doing right now you got the mirror in now I see yes yes and I have my precision counterweights oh beautiful watch your feet <laughs> I've never had one fall out on anybody, but you never know. Right. the 11th hour it's dusk and uh, I can already see Jupiter actually and it is packed in here it's uh, actually public observing night mm -hmm. right so the uh, the public's allowed in here until 11 and they're just looking through everyone's scopes it's a lot of great people I ran into some people that actually recognized me from Astro Backyard so that was nice uh, Dave and Ben this one's for you <laughs> and uh, yeah so it's it, like I said, it's just full of people right now. A lot of, uh, you can feel the electricity in the air because after two cloudy nights in a row, to, to see this sky right now is something else. So it should be a great one. Yeah. 